Okay, hopefully this will be seamless if I edit them together. Uh, but I may put it up in two separate se uh, segments. Uh, we ran out of, of recording time. Uh, apologies. So I think we were at, uh, what, 0.751 on the cheapo, and we are at 0.755. So again, we're pretty darn close. So let's go ahead and see what the... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and just move on to capacitance. Um, we'll go ahead and set these up here. And we have a little capacitator. I think, I don't remember how many nanofarads that is, but we're going to know in a second, won't we? So let's, uh, let's get a reading on this. Try and keep those lines out of the way here. 99.44 nanofarads. And let's see what our Kintec says. One hundred point two nanofarads. I'd say that's pretty darn close. I like to do things in close. Um, let's see. Do we have another component? I thought we did. I thought we did. Well, apparently not. So. What else? Uh, there's another feature on uh, this. Let's see where we're at here. We've got uh, the buzzer. I find the buzzer on this to be just atrocious. Let me. That is, it always, no matter how firm you press these probes together, it is going to skip. So listen very closely. You hear that skip? It, and it's very crunchy when you first put them together. I, I didn't like it, not even a little bit. So this one has a delay, and you know different meters for you know different things. So and it will automatically be in a continuity buzz right now. So let me just you know, uh, not much of a delay. That's actually fairly, but you can, but watch the Tektronics though. Watch this. Ready? Ready? I mean it's. Instant. You just look. <laughs> so, much faster response time. Um, that so I find that to be a little annoying, but uh, you know you can't have it all. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, I think uh, when it well when it comes to the uh, you do you you do have a hold function, which is the 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 roll button right here is. Um, hold. You can see it pops up right there in the corner of the screen and then you can make it go away. So let's just say we were uh, measuring um, what do we want to measure? Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, let's say we have our capacitor. Um, as far as I know it works on every uh, on every setting. Hold. So now we can use it just like any other hold function. So nice. Um, let me check my notes. So, the, so comparison, as far as I'm concerned, there's a lot of uh, there. There's the, it's it's going to work as a multimeter. It's not the first multimeter I would grab, but as far as like when I go somewhere in a field and I'm just doing a, a you know quick check. Uh, on, on something, I can deal with the, the, the slightly slower response time and slightly uh, you know, longer wait for it to, to level off, you know, settle off. Uh, that, that's not too big of a deal, especially when I have an oscilloscope built into it uh, where I can see these different waveforms that, you know, yeah, I'm not going to take, the, you can't drag these. The, the Tektronics, that's a portable, yeah. Not for me. I mean, I'm a I'm a big guy, but I'm very lazy. You have to be motivated to carry around something that large. That's uh, that's ridiculous. Um, let's see, what else? Um, the resolution on this uh, is going to be um, is a 4,000 count. The max voltage of uh, alternating current that this thing can handle is, is it says 600, but I I don't think that's correct. Uh, the input impedance is 10 uh, 10 ohms. 
Um, let's see. I believe, I believe we've covered everything that I definitely wanted to hit. Um, so the second part of this is very short. And I apologize for the interruption of the video. Like I said, this weekend I'm going to be attempting to get some better uh, uh, editing software. Uh, I'm a very old person and they stopped, uh, allegedly got rid of Windows uh, Movie Maker, which I was very proficient with and I could crank out videos in a relatively short time. But I didn't make any videos for a long time and all those just kind of went away. So uh, that's, uh, I have to find a suitable replacement. Um, we're going to do a teardown t t this weekend on this. I want to see what fuses are in here. Again, there's something rattling in this. I believe at this point it's it's going to be a piece of plastic, probably just a manufacturing, you know, oops, uh, where they didn't uh, clean everything out uh, or, or broke a little piece off inside. Uh, just, just poor quality control. Um, oh, I know something else. It, it's not very apparent. This thing kind of almost looks like it has a, a protector on it. It doesn't. It's that, that's it's all the same molded plastic. But uh, a million years ago, I actually uh, worked at a facility that made plastics uh, and a lot of ABS uh, high impact plastic, and uh, they. This is gonna. I can just tell by this. This is the thickness of this plastic. This is gonna have some impact resistance. Now I don't know how it's hooked up on the inside yet. We're gonna find that out later. But uh, I, I see this thing could probably take a pretty good smack, uh, you know, without causing any permanent damage. Uh, I wouldn't suggest, uh, you, you know, playing wall ball with it. Uh, I mean, it's your money. You do what you want. But I wouldn't suggest it. Um, so far, I'm finding this very useful uh, for a lot of different things. Um, it's, it's not the best. I've seen some other... I mean... Obviously, I look at stuff all the time and think, geez, if I only had that, and then realize, no, that won't make me any better at what I do. It just, you know, helps me do it better, I guess. But it won't make me better. Uh, we have to learn. That's what makes it better. Um, so, so there is a, a few different scopes out there uh, that are similar, but much, much more money. And the reason why is because they work better. Um, and it's really that simple. Uh, also, they have things like uh, customer support and, um, you know, uh, all kinds of different, uh, you're paying for a lot of research and development and you're paying for better quality materials. So, having said that, if this is the option that you, you know, you've decided you've got a budgetary uh, confinement, you need to uh, pay attention to this, this is going to help. This is, um, it's, it's low cost, I would say. For what it does, uh, it, it, there's a little bit longer wait time. As far as the, you know, user options, it's I, I, I think it's pretty neat. Um, but I'm still, you know, concerned about this unfused area, and I'm concerned about a couple other things. But we're going to answer some more of those questions this weekend when I tear it apart. Also, the, uh, it, that this, this thing confused me. It's a little image of a lot. Let me see if I can... there. See, it's a little block. I have never seen anything like that. I've seen kind of stuff like that. Usually it's got like a key or something. You press it and unlock something. Like, you know, you pop the back off. In this case, it's an anti-theft lock that they don't give you. But uh, it, it looked pretty cool. I'm going to have to check that out a little bit more. Um, so uh, if you do have one of these and you've landed on this video page because you're trying to figure it out uh, because you can't find a manual, I will try and put the link for the manual from Handtech. That's a, uh, a, a PDF download uh, direct from their website. I'll try and put the link on there. Um, did I mention the bandwidth on the oscilloscope? The bandwidth limit, there is bandwidth limiting on this. This is a 40, milli, uh, 40 megahertz oscilloscope. So the bandwidth uh, is limited at about 20 megahertz, which you know, can help you get rid of some noise. Um, I just, I, you know, the stupid little things you think of. Uh, I will get the link on the bottom for the, uh, for the manual. If there's anything else, I'll stick it down there too. So if, if, if you find this interesting, but uh, maybe I didn't cover something, um, you check, check in the, uh, uh, the notations at the bottom. Uh, so at this point, uh, this puppy is going to go to bed. So 
night night oscilloscope and I will be back as soon as I finish the next video uh, which will either be on uh, the way I like to cook cheeseburgers or more than likely to be the teardown for the scope um, all right so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it answered some questions if you have any questions or comments please leave them underneath the video and uh, everybody have a great day